Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm your host, Buckning, and today we're going to give you an update on the portfolio for the beginning of the week here. Uh, it is Tuesday, so you will see this video Wednesday. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all we're going to do today. Um, but we'll get right into it. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is where we put $100 a week into a tax-free savings account to build a dividend portfolio right in front of your eyes. And if you're not new, welcome back. Um, but yeah, we'll just get right into it. For the day here, we are closing out the portfolio at $2,772.05. We are up $6.23, up 0.23% on the day. For the week, we are no longer negative. We are up $54.87, up 2.02%. For the month, we are up $30.69, up 1.12%. And for the three months, we are up $221.71, up 8.69%. For the year, we are up $327.05, up 13.38%. Excuse me, and we are the same for all. And so, very nice staircase, a uh, little bumps in the road as we get higher and higher, uh, which is a normal thing. Um, can't always keep going up, but uh, we'll do our best to keep on going up. So, today we are going to start off with BCE, which is Bell Canada. Uh, Closing out today at $55.45. We are down 12 cents on the day, down 0.22%. We own two shares of this. Total position value of $110.90. Our average price of getting in is $58.05, and it holds 4.02% of the portfolio. Uh, down 24 cents on the day, down $5.20 since owning the position, um, and that is down 4.48%. This is a position I'd like to increase over time to dollar cost average down, um, but we will do that probably in the near future uh, because we have another strategy that we talked about in Friday's video. Um, but yeah, so next one is Bank of Montreal, uh, ticker symbol BMO, closing out at $97.62 down 15 cents on the day, uh, down 0.15%. We own five shares of BMO, total position value of $488.10. Our average price of getting in is $81.32. And it holds about 17.67% of the portfolio, down 75 cents on the day. And total return since owning the position is $81.50, up 20.04%. Next position we have is Bank of Nova Scotia, ticker symbol BNS, closing out at $70.93, up $0.14 cents on the day, up 0.20%. We own seven shares of this. Total position value of $496.51. Our average price of getting in is $54.58, and it holds about 17.98% of the portfolio. Today's return is up $0.98. Cents. Um, and total return since owning the position is $114.46, up 29.96%. Next position we have is Loblaws, ticker symbol L, uh, closing out at $62.51, up $0.42 cents on the day up 0.68 percent we own six shares of this total position value of 375 dollars and six cents our average price of getting in is 63 dollars and 27 cents and it holds about 13.58 percent of the portfolio today's return is two dollars and 52 cents up 0.68 percent and our total return since owning the position is down four dollars and 57 cents down 1.2 percent Next position we own is Manulife Financial Corporation, ticker symbol MFC, closing out at $24.69, up $0.25 cents on the day, up 1.02%. We own 17 shares of this. Total position value of $419.73. Our average price of getting in is $19.26, and it holds about 15.20% of the portfolio. And today's return is $4.25. Total return since owning the position is $92.29, up 28.19%. Next position we have is Royal Bank of Canada, ticker symbol RY. Position closing out today at $107.07, .07, down $0.06 cents on the day, down 0.06%. 
We own four shares of this total position value of $428.28. Our average price of getting in is $106.74 and it currently holds 15.51% of the portfolio. We are down 24 cents on the day, but our total return since owning the position is $1.31, up 0.31%, and that is Royal Bank of Canada. Next ticker, uh, next company is Telus Corporation, uh, ticker symbol T, closing out at $27.25. We are down one cent on the day, down 0.04%. We own eight shares of this, total position value of $218. Our average price of getting in is $26.13, and it holds about 7.89% down $0.08 cents on the day. And our total return since owning the position is $8.96, up 4.29%. So this one here uh, is the position I want to increase to about 12 to 13%. Uh, so this is the position we'll buy on Friday uh when that comes in and again i will show you proof actually i'll do it right now and it'll be right here as always every week we do that and so it's just consistency in investing and consistently doing dollar cost averaging uh next company is toronto dominion bank ticker symbol td closing out at 75 dollars and six cents we are down seven cents on the day down 0.09 percent we own three shares of this total position value of $225.18. Our average price of getting in is $71.94 and it holds 8.15% of the portfolio down 21 cents on the day and total return since owning the position is $9.35 up 4.33%. This is another position I'd like to increase over time uh, to about 12 to 13%. Currently we have $10.29 in the cash portion. We have added some new ones to the watch list. Um, and so we'll talk about that actually. And so um, Apple was on there for quite some time, but we have another one, which is CSCO, which is Cisco Systems Inc., which is a tech company, which I think I want to try to increase the tech side of this portfolio um, that do pay dividends. And here's one. So we'll go through a few of them. So one is Cisco. That is really strong. Market cap on this one is $206 billion. 52 week high of $50.28, 52-week low of $32.40. It is on the NASDAQ, and the yield is 2.94%. This is an American stock, so do um, pay attention to that. I know Wealth Simple Trade does charge you, I think it's one and a half percent. Um, this is a company I want to get a position in, in the near future. Um, because in Canada, it's very hard to find tech companies of this um um size or of the success um, i don't know of any most of them are in the united states of america um, but yeah that's cisco so that's on the watch list next one is home depot uh, ticker symbol hd closing out at 276 dollars and 77 cents i don't know why there's no market cap on this and stuff but um this is another one that i would like to get a position in there is a yield on this one um, the reason i picked home depot is because it's I do believe it falls in the sector of, um, yeah, consumer discretionary. Um, I think that's what consumer products is or retail. This is an industry that I think a lot of people need to keep an eye on. Uh, Home Depot is a very, very strong company um, in which, you know, during the whole pandemic and the pandemic we're currently in, I did not see a Home Depot or anything of this in this sector closed down. Um, and you saw probably a lot more profitability in that time because a lot of people were home and maybe looking at um, finishing some projects around the home renovations and things like that. So that's an industry that I would like to get into. Another one is Coca-Cola. I don't know why I don't own um, this in this portfolio. Coca-Cola is a dividend. Um, I forget the word, but it, it's been paying dividends forever. Um, and this one has a market cap of 214 billion 52 week high of 60 dollars and a 52 week low of 36 dollars so right now it's at a good price um traded on the new york stock exchange so again there is an exchange rate on that one and the yield is 3.29 percent this is one of warren buffett's um positions and he holds a very large position in coca-cola and i don't know why i wouldn't it's worldwide um in fact i have one uh right here um i love coca-cola i make sure that there's coca-cola everywhere in the world interesting fact the only two places that don't have coca-cola is cuba and north korea um 
but I think you can get them, but you do pay a higher premium than you would in Canada or the US. But that is another one. That is just a company that's worldwide that I'd like to um, own a position. Next one is McDonald's. Um, just go quickly. Uh, this one is valued at 215 per share up four dollars today 52 week high of 231 52 week low of 124 yield of 2.38 percent here's the thing about mcdonald's that i love so much um it's not just their food their food is so fast and easy and it's not the greatest but their system around um, being able to create profits around that is massive um, because i don't know what household doesn't know about mcdonald's and i and it's just so easy to eat although it's not the most healthiest um, of the food groups it's probably a food group of its own um, not too much nutritional value but business model is just phenomenal and so um, that's why i want to own mcdonald's because it's going to be here for the long run um, starbucks closing out at 106.22 uh, yield of 1.58 percent this is somewhat of a dividend stock but more of a growth stock in my opinion if you look at the five-year this thing has doubled and almost doubled at a hundred percent um which is absolutely phenomenal for a company that does coffee um based out of washington i do believe seattle um is worldwide and is taking the world by storm um to give you an idea i was in korea uh now a couple years ago but starbucks was literally anywhere you go starbucks there uh phenomenal and it's just a coffee chain that literally has an amazing business model um, around it. And I, I totally just really like this company. And I think it's going to do great in the future. A uh, company to hold definitely on in the long run, which is interesting as Starbucks is on the NASDAQ, which the NASDAQ is for the most part, straight tech. Um, a lot of tech companies are in there. That's what it's based around of around based around. Um, but this is a coffee chain. So it's, it's very interesting that it's considered in the NASDAQ, um, on the NASDAQ exchange. Not sure why, if you do know the answer, let me know, but those are the few that have been added to the watch list, um, that I want to add to this portfolio in the future, um, just to start getting a, a bit diversified, but first we'll balance out the portfolio. Like I'm talking about increasing my position in tell us so on and so forth before I get into those. So they are on the watch list because I do expect big growth from all these companies. Um, this year um and that's just a gut feeling it's not something that i can uh give you facts on but you look at mcdonald's it's up 86 percent in the past five years in one year is up 1.3 um but i i see huge amounts of growth so um but also dividends of course um which is why we do this channel um and so that's pretty much it for this video guys hopefully you did enjoy the video and um yeah, we'll see you in a, a few days here and uh, have a great rest of your week and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.